some guys think they can do it. You've been a director. You've been talent. You've been a director. And now you're a talent agent, which we're going to get to. But how did you know you weren't going to fail? That's always the question I ask guys. How did you know you could do it? Uh, well, first off, you, you, there is no school. There's no porn 101. Uh, that's one of the, the and we'll, again, we'll get to it about the agency, what differs us from, every, you know, from a lot of the other agencies, again, because of my background and understanding, I'm able to pass along this knowledge to up and comers like I was, yeah. but uh, it, it really was, you have to be, well, let's face it, Lisa, it, it, everyone that's in this business sexually is just a little bit off, you know, a little bit, yeah. maybe overly sexual, a little overly dirty, a little overly deviant, you know, you got to, you know, or more, overly uh, voyeuristic, uh, yeah. entertain you know, all of those things. Yeah. 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 You, you definitely have to have uh, a comfortability because, and here's the big thing that's completely different than what it is. Here we are in 2021, but in 1990, and the time when you joined in, everything was a feature, which means there was at least, at least 20 people surrounding you when you're having sex. Yes. So you need to be very comfortable. Now, going back to what I said, which was, I felt I had a really good chance because of my acting. Um, my acting was all based on being in a theater, on a stage. So performing in front of a large crowd Granted, I was clothed, uh, sure. was not a big deal. So it wasn't for me, it wasn't the, the stage fright or being around people I don't know didn't bother me. Um, the, the only thing There was thing also that was, no Viagra or assistance like there is now uh, no. for a male performer. And so it was different. The connection was different between the female and the male performer. I think there was a lot more intimacy there and oh absolutely and, and and contact and just like we just we it was more of a team effort then but who yeah. was the first girl you worked with uh the first girl i worked with was uh terry diver I do you remember, remember that terry name. Diver? yes it okay was, it, okay it, it was a there was a couple terry and todd diver um okay. She did. She, you know, was an actress in the in the movies, and he was uh, an up and coming director. But anyway, she was my very first one, and I, uh, God, I remember just being absolutely petrified. Um, but you know, got through it, and uh, you kind of excelled, Jonathan. I mean, many many years later, how many scenes do you think you did in the industry? You know, I, I didn't. You know, when you hear some of the numbers from some of these legends, like like I said, like uh, uh, Tom Byron and, and, and those, Shawn Michaels, of, Rocco, like yeah, like, okay. I mean they've they've done thousands, thousands. upon thousands. I probably my my you know even though my career went from 1990 and here I am you know 2021, but my as far as me performing, it was only from 1990 to 2000, so it was only a 10 year ten gap year span. Yeah, and in that ten years, I probably did no less than seven hundred, no more than nine hundred, somewhere. Yeah, in because like you said, everything was a feature then. So you know, it wasn't like Gonzo where you're just shooting a scene every single day. You might have had a whole yeah. day of dialogue. You might have had a whole day of setups of other things. Like it was very, very, very different. Uh, yeah, totally. And, and and I believe also well, you had to pay your friend's rent over this bet. How pissed was he that you became so successful? And are you still friends with him now? I'm not friends with him now. We did try to stay uh, in contact. I, I think the last time I uh, he tried to reach out to me was uh, 1998. Um, and he was, he was wanting to get in the business. And <laughs> again, I tried to explain to him, my knowledge about what this business is like and it is for a guy uh man you it's not nice it's not it's not no. i always this is what i always tell all of the young men that that call up or or try or you know get in contact with me to get into this industry and one of the analogies i always use is this porn is like imagine you're a baseball player and you're basically being told Every time you go up to bat, you have to hit a home run. If you hit anything less than a home run, you're literally, you're back to triple A ball. I mean, it is. You're there, so right. Yeah. You, 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 there There's is no room no, for error. No. Back, 
And again, because without your home run, AKA known as the pop shot, we don't get paid. Our job is nope. not done. The mission is not accomplished. So we do rely on you to hit a home run. I've never looked at it that way. And I love that analogy. Well, I, I, I have to say that, uh, you know, it, I don't think a lot of people realize how, you know, that it is a, it's a tough job because it really is a mental job because a guy, you know, a, a girl, and I say this in no disrespect, but a girl, you know, a little bit of lube and it's like, I'm wet, let's go. But with a you. guy, it's even with Viagra and stuff like that, remember, you have to be mentally there. You just, unless you are mentally turned on, it's just not going to work. Viagra is not mean, a- listen, I have- I was uh, I fought so hard for men to get better rates and always tried to pay guys better because it was at one point they were getting paid a third of what the female performer was getting paid. And I'm like, you know, he's kind of just as important, if not more so, even though I know she's going to be the one that's out promoting it. She's going to be on the packaging. You know, we're looking back to the time where we did trade shows all the time. IVD, traveled to warehouse things, met met buyers, you know, right. that kind of era was so different. But that's good advice. Thank you.